Hello guys and welcome to So This Is Love. Today I want to share with you guys about my DIY bouquets and how I did them and how much they cost. But before we start anything, go ahead and click the subscribe button so you guys can see all my DIYs and wedding planning fun. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So I decided on silk flowers because for a couple of reasons. Um, first, cost. Silk flowers are so much cheaper and I just couldn't find myself spending so much money on something that dies. That's my second point. Second point is flowers die and that's a lot of money to spend on something that dies when you can make these beautiful silk bouquets that you can keep forever and your bouquet will look just the same on your wedding day as it will 10 years from now. So I just think it's the best option. First off, I'll start off by showing you guys my bouquets, just a couple of them. So to begin, this right here is a bridesmaid bouquet. As you can see, we've got the big peony and we've got little roses in it and we've got the greenery and I think it looks gorgeous um and in pictures I think they will look just as good as the real thing I wrapped the bottom in some burlap that has gold intertwined into it and then we wrapped it in lace and just hot glued it that is a bridesmaid's bouquet next I have a maid of honor bouquet. I know you guys may not be able to see the difference, um, but in this one, these little flowers right here have little diamonds in them. And it's just something that makes them a little bit different, a little bit special. Last but not least, my giant bouquet. I don't even know if I can fit this all in the frame, but here is my big beautiful bouquet. So I decided that I wanted more white in my bouquet than the rest of the girls and I made mine bigger. And I love it and it's gorgeous and I can't wait to just keep this and have it in my house and put it up as decorations. And other special thing I did with my bouquet is instead of wrapping it in the same lace that the girls have, I took a part of my mother's lace from her wedding dress, which I got permission to use, cut it off and wrapped my bouquet in the lace from her wedding dress, which is something just special that I can carry with me. So those are what the bouquets look like. And now I'm gonna dive a little bit into more of what it looked like to make these bouquets and the cost of them. Okay, ladies, so to start off with my DIY bouquet adventure, one day, um, my future sister-in-law was like, hey, Michael's is having a really good sale. Do you want to go see if there's any wedding stuff you possibly need? I was like, yeah, let's do it. So we went in there into Michael's with no expectation of buying anything, just to see what there was. And we come to find out their flowers were 60% off. And I'm like, are you down for like picking out flowers today? Pick out your flowers. You're not gonna get a better deal than this. So, we spent three hours in Michael's picking out flowers. To begin, I wanted coral flowers, and then we obviously needed a, just another color, so I decided on white, because that goes beautifully together, and then we had to think about how many flowers were gonna go in each bouquet, and had to figure out the number of flowers we needed, how many of each flower we needed. So ladies, be prepared when you go shopping for flowers. It will take some time, so make sure you budget time um, accordingly because it, you're not gonna get it done in an hour. You know, we start off by just picking up flowers in my colors. And then we went to the back room of Michael's and laid them all out on the table. And then we started off by saying, which flower do you absolutely need to have in each bouquet? And I was like, well, that's a given, the peony. The peony is so pretty and it's big, so it will take up more space. 
so then you wouldn't need as many flowers to fill out the bouquet. And I just love the look of the peony. I think it's beautiful. So that was my one that I really wanted in all the bouquets. Um, after that, we just kind of, you know, arranged it, seen what it looks like, and we went from there, and three hours later, we picked out all the flowers, and then once we got it home, I was like, all right, we have to figure out the next step to prepare these bouquets. So after a little while, I contacted a lady who was helping me make my bouquets. She was a previous florist, so she knew about arranging flowers, and she had helped my future sister-in-law make her bouquets for her wedding. So I was like, I need this lady to help me because this will be amazing, and I don't want to mess these up. So, contacted her and said, what do I need to do to get these bouquets going? Unfortunately, I haven't filmed this sooner, so I don't have a full effect of what I did. But, as you can see, this, these flowers right here came in a bunch. And that's how most of my flowers came. As well as like, these ones came in a bunch. And as you can see, there's like these weird green, they're like felt. I'm like, those are ugly, those have to go. Um, I don't want those sticking out of my bouquet. So she told me to cut them apart with wire cutters. So I sat there for hours, cutting apart all my flowers. The other thing that I did was the extra leaves that are coming off of the flowers. I literally just went through and pulled them off. A lot of them just pulled right off. If they didn't, I cut them off and then just kind of got rid of the extra stick offs and cut those off as well. So that was a little time consuming. It made me nervous to cut apart all these flowers because some of them were like longer like this and then some of them I would cut and they'd be really short like this and I was like, are those gonna be good to like go in the bouquet? She's like, yes, don't worry about it. So after I prepped all the flowers, um, one day we set a date where me and my two maid of honors went over to this lady's house and we put together all our bouquets. So we spent three hours putting together bouquets. So we put together eight bouquets total within three hours. So let's go ahead and discuss the process of um, what I did to prepare these flowers and what it looked like putting them together. So before I even got to Lady's house, I had taken my flowers and I had separated them out so that um, we knew which flowers went in which bouquet. So I literally took, if this bouquet needed three coral roses, I took it, put it in that little baggie, labeled it bridesmaid. This is the maid of honor bag. This is, um, the bride's bag. That was very helpful once we got there. So once we got there, we took out the flowers and we just said, all right, one of the things we need to do is for all the greenery that I had t torn off the flowers, I went through and picked out which ones I wanted in the bouquets. So once we did that, they're all very short, so obviously they have like no stem at all. And what we did was since we pulled them off, there's like a little hole right in the middle. And we took green floral wire, we put it through the hole, and we just bent it over and twisted a little bit. And then it now had a stem that could go in the bouquet. So after that, after we got all the greenery done, and if there were any, um, flat, uh, flowers that were shorter, like that didn't have, we did the same exact thing. You did that, and then after you put the green wire around, you take the green floral tape. Now, when I first saw this, it's like really weird, and you're like, this isn't sticky, how is this gonna work? Well, with floral tape, it doesn't activate until you like stretch it a little bit, 
So when you're putting on the floral tape, you literally like stretch it and like spin, spin, spin and wrap it around until you get about like this far down and then it's good to go. So then after we got all the flowers prepped that needed wires, we started putting together bouquets. So we literally just took a flower, you took like the big flower, which was our peony, and you put that, cause that was kind of what you built around. And then you kind of just took it and like added one flower here, one flower here, one flower there. So we didn't add the green, we just did the flowers at first. And then what you do from there is you take that floral tape and you start wrapping, 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 just like to about here. After you do that, you go ahead and you go back in and you stick the green in. You just kind of put it where you think it should go. And once again, tape, 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 and it's all set. So from there, we decided on the length of the bouquet and we cut the stems so that they were even. And after that, you wrap the whole thing in floral tape and then you make sure that you wrap the bottom as well so you don't have any little pokey wires coming out. After that, um, we took the burlap, cut it to the right length, wrapped it, hot glued it, same thing with the lace wrap, hot glued, and then it was done. It's a lot of different steps, but it went by fast. And we all did like different steps to help with making these bouquets and it's kind of cool because like my maid of honor one of my maid of honors like she put together her own bouquet and like how cool is that for her to be like look like I made this and like I'm very proud of it so it's just like a fun DIY and a big money saver so the other thing I will tell you guys that I am doing with my flowers is on my bridesmaids bouquet are going to double as some of my centerpiece decorations. So I have designed three different centerpieces so that I could use these flowers and not have to make extra. So what we are doing is I have these glass faces that I have wrapped in burlap and there's something else that I'm going to be putting on here as well, just haven't got around to it yet. but my I mean for the reception your bridesmaids literally don't need their bouquets anymore they're kind of pointless so I was like why not use them as centerpiece decorations so I'm going to have my coordinator take the bridesmaids bouquet after the ceremony and go stick them in these like brilliant I read this in my wedding planning book and I was like well, that's a brilliant idea. Why would you spend more money on flowers when you can just use the flowers you already have? Light bulb. So I'm super excited about my flowers and how they turned out. Um, so those are what the bouquets look like and that's what they look like in the vase. I think they're gorgeous. Um, the other thing that I wanna show you guys is the boutonnieres and corsages. So the boutonnieres, are obviously for the groomsmen and the groom and the dads and grandpas. So let me show you what that looks like. So this boutonniere right here is for the groom. This is for my husband, my soon to be husband. We took some burlap that we used to wrap the bouquets and because it was like a tougher burlap it didn't fray. So like be aware if you're going to be using burlap, there is burlap that will fray and there is burlap that won't fray when you cut it. So we used the burlap to make this leaf shape. We just took one of the leaves from like the greenery and we traced it and we cut it out. So and then we attached wire to it so that it could have a little stem so that it could stick down here. And then um, the groom has the little white jeweled flowers as well and then it's wrapped in a little bit of burlap ribbon type thing that's what we wrap the bottom in and then it has well 
has pins in it so that um, it can be pinned on the day of the wedding. So that's what the grooms look like. Groomsmen have just the coral and then the little coral one that sticks up as well. So the groom is the only one who has the white in his, which made him a little bit different. For the moms we and grandmas, we made the little wrist corsages and we did the same thing. We did the leaves, we cut them out. And for this time, you don't need um, to make stems on them. The wrist piece right here is what you need to make a wrist corsage. Um, I don't know where you buy them at because I didn't buy them. The lady that helped me with my flowers bought them. So I don't know where you get those at. But all she did was hot glued everything on here. That's it. Ba bam It's a wrist corsage and it's gorgeous. Isn't it so pretty? Overall, very happy with how everything turned out. Now let's talk about price. Like I said at the beginning, I got 60% off all my flowers. Without that, I would not have gotten <laughs> all my flowers for this sheet. So to do eight bouquets over eight boutonnieres and over four corsages, I don't know the exact numbers off the top of my head, $100 for all my flowers. Now that does not include the cost of my burlap or lace or the corsage pieces or the wire or the tape. So those were all separate costs, but for the flowers in themselves, $100. So do not buy flowers full price. End of story. Because you can get away with DIYing it and getting it for so much cheaper. I am literally still blown away by the fact that I only spent $100. So if you have any more questions, go ahead and leave me comments down below and I'll try to answer your questions as best as I can. But DIY your flowers if you can because I don't think you have to be super artsy to do it. I think it just takes time. And with the help of your bridesmaids, you guys can get them done way faster. One last thing that I don't think I showed you guys is my tossing bouquet. So it's a lot smaller than the rest of the bouquets, but the thing is we just used the leftovers that we didn't use for the other bouquets. So yes, it's a little bit smaller, but it's a tossing bouquet, so it doesn't need to be super big or extravagant and it gets the job done. Watching and make sure you subscribe so you can watch other videos about my fun DIYs. Who's ready to catch the bouquet?